everyone welcome back to my channel today I am going to be trying on and playing and reviewing a few new products that I picked up from the NARS website no it's not the new collection which is this right here I have actually bought this new collection they briefly launched this on Instagram where you could buy it early on Instagram so I've actually never really bought anything on Instagram so I don't know when I'm gonna get it but as soon as this entire collection arrives I will definitely be doing a full review on it I can't say no to a NARS palette. I just can't. So that video will hopefully be up within, I would hope to get it within a week. I don't know. We'll see. But I was on the NARS website recently. I noticed they had new air matte blushes. These are kind of a cream blush. I, you guys know I can never resist testing out a cream blush. Like cream blushes are kind of my thing. I noticed that these are currently available now on the Sephora website. I think they just launched on the Sephora website. And I went ahead and picked up two different shades. I picked up the shade Rush and Gasp. These retail for $30 each and they are available in eight shades. So the description on these, it says on the website that they are new and limited edition. Now I don't know if they're limited edition, but it says new and limited edition. Okay, introducing a perfectly diffused soft touch matte blush with a thrill of color. Uniquely lightweight creamy mousse formula that transforms into a velvety powder right on contact. Instantly gliding a rush of blush, color diffusion complex beautifully blends and blurs for second skin color that lasts. It's a soft matte finish. It is supposed to be sheer and buildable coverage. I will definitely be trying these on for you, kind of sharing my experience with these, good and bad. And then of course I will do some comparisons of the two shades that I picked up. Uh, comparing to some of the other shades that I have in my collection. Also, while I was on the website, I saw that they had a new lip formula that's kind of the same thing. It is an air matte lip color. They retail for $26 and they come in 10 different shades. So I went ahead and picked up two shades in this uh, air matte formula and the description on these, matte that moves with you. It's cushiony air kissed pigments float Featherweight color onto lips, while color diffusion complex creates a soft focus finish with a creamy fill. Build and blend to perfect with a custom designed applicator for a look that's covetable and comfortable. I didn't see these on the Sephora website, but they might be there now between the time that I'm filming this and the time that I upload this video. They, right now, while I'm filming these, the only thing that's available on the Sephora website are the blushes, not the lips. So that's what we're gonna be doing in today's video. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the application of both of these products. And then of course we will get into the swatches and comparisons, and then I will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. So let's go ahead and play with these new air matte blushes I picked up from NARS and I got two shades. I have Gasp and Rush. I love cream blushes. So I'm kind of on the hunt. I really am. I love cream blushes. They've become kind of my favorite product to play with and test out. Now I still have a love affair with foundation, but cream blushes are coming uh, for the foundation. So this is what the shade Rush looks like, and it does feel, I wish the container was bigger. It's hard to get your finger in there with nails on. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, it's really hard to get your finger in there. So the blush is a little bit bigger than the concealer. So let me show you the difference in size. See how the blush is just a little bit bigger in size? Uh, but it's still really difficult to get your finger down in there. It does feel like a moussey type of liquid lip. That's what it feels like. So this is the shade Rush and this is Gasp. Gasp is a little bit more of like a nude with a purple undertone. I have two brushes here uh, and one of them I wiped off on a towel, but this one's perfectly clean. So I'm gonna go into the shade Gasp and we're gonna apply Gasp on this side. Now, the only thing that I have on right now is foundation, concealer, and my brows done. And a brush might be the easiest way to apply these because it's really hard to get a sponge down in there. Um, I don't really th think that they thought out the packaging very well on this, I'm gonna be honest with you. But this is the shade Gasp. Okay. 
Okay, so that didn't apply as evenly as I would hope. So I'm gonna take a little pointer. Uh, so you can see there's a, like some missing product here and here. Uh, so let me try a sponge. So I'm gonna take a dampened sponge and see if I can apply it with a sponge. <laughs> I'm making a mess. So I, here's the problem. It's hard to get a sponge down in there. So I'm gonna try to like squeeze it down in there. So I've got some here on the butt of the sponge and I'm gonna try to apply it. Yeah. My biggest complaint with this is this, the container itself. It's too hard to get anything down in there to pick it up like evenly. So I go down in there with a brush and I feel like the brush like picks it up in a weird way and then you end up getting an uneven application. You try to go down in there with a sponge and you still get a very uneven application. So the packaging, I think that really makes these difficult to use because you can still see that I'm missing some product here and here. And I don't love the way that that applied. See, like my brush doesn't hardly fit in there. Like you have to kind of, and see what happens is when you put your brush down in there, see how it picks it up weird in these certain areas. So therefore the brush doesn't pick up the product evenly. So then you end up applying an uneven application because it's uneven on the brush, if that makes sense. So I I don't love the packaging on these. Like it, it makes it very, very difficult to use. The colors are fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some here on the back of my hand, okay? I'm gonna rub it out a little bit so that there's no like chunks, okay? So I've rubbed it out a little bit. Now I'm gonna go down in to the product and apply it that way. I'm still not getting like a full even application because you can kind of see I'm missing some product right here in this area. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these. All right, I'm gonna do the exact same thing and try to fix this side because you can see that it's super like splotchy right here. Like I've got some patchy marks and I wanna try to fix some of those patchy marks on this side. So I've got some here on the back of my hand and I'm gonna take my brush down in there Uh, the sponge doesn't, oh, it still picked it up. See how I've got this spot right here? I don't know, y'all. I think these are too hard to use. So I'm going to take my foundation brush and just kind of go in and try to like remedy this because I've just got so many like missing spots. So I'm going to try to apply this side one more time. I just, I don't understand the packaging. Like, did they try this product out in the packaging before they sold it? I don't get it. Like in development, why didn't they just make it in like, I mean, this is a moussey, um, this is a formula that's very moussey and stays together. It, it would have been fine to put it in a traditional like blush palette. It would have worked just as good. These, these jars, I feel like just, I don't know, not efficient at all. Um, okay, so <laughs> I think we might have finally figured it out. So this is the color Gasp on this side, and then this is the color Rush on this side. And I still have some splotches right here that I need to fix. It's just a, it's a, not a very easy product to use. I'll go off camera, finish the rest of my makeup, and then I'll come back and we'll try out the new lip products. So I will be right back. Okay, so I did go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup. Let's jump into the two lip products. So this is their new Air Matte lip color, and I got it in the shade Thrust and Shag. So this is the packaging. It's like a mini version of the new foundation, which I think is so cute. I, I, I think the packaging is adorable. This is the doe foot right here. And it does feel like a, a thicker, moussey texture. So I'm gonna kind of wipe off the applicator and kind of start slow and go from there. So again, this is the shade Shag. Glad I wiped off that applicator.
Okay, so this does have a very moussey, moussey texture, very pigmented. So I recommend when you pull it out, you get quite a bit on the applicator. So I just pulled it out and you can see the big globs of it. Don't immediately apply it. I recommend wiping that off and then going in because it's already got a lot of pigment and it is kind of that thicker moussey texture. And if you get it too thick, I don't think it would be very comfortable. So I feel like a very thin even layer is probably better than a big glob of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and kiss the back of my hand and see if it transfers. A tiny bit, yeah, you can see. Um, but it's very comfortable. So even though it does transfer, uh, it feels very comfortable on the lip. Like I don't really feel like I have anything on my lips. And I'm kind of curious about this. This is a this is a nice formula. And I didn't have to put on a lip liner with this shade. This shade is really beautiful all on its own. And I don't really feel like I need to put on a lip liner. So I like this. So far, so good. Okay, next up we have Thrust. Again, really beautiful, very easy to apply, um, a very soft, soft formula and really pigmented. I don't know how long these will last, but right here at the bottom of the screen, I will let you guys know when I'm editing this, how long these last on me. I don't know that I'm gonna wear this shade. I think I'm gonna wear the other shade. Um, but once I put that other shade back on, I will wear it for as long as I can today. And I will let you guys know when it, you know, how long it started to fade and when it actually faded completely off. Okay, so now that we've made it through all of the tutorials and swatches, let's go ahead and get into my thoughts on these. I don't think it's gonna be a secret to you guys. I don't love this NARS formula uh, for several reasons. Like I mentioned, I think the biggest reason I don't like these is the packaging. The packaging makes it very, very difficult, especially if you have nails. If you read the instructions on how to apply these, it says to use fingertips or number 16 blush brush to layer and build instantly for a desired effect. Layer to build color intensity from sheer to full. Okay, that being said, these are very hard to put your finger in if you have nails. So if you don't wear nails, then it's not a big deal, right? But if you wear nails, and I don't even have my nails that long, and it is very difficult to stick my finger in to try to get it without getting it in my nail. See how I stuck my finger in there? And there's my nail. So the problem with the packaging is it's just not very well thought out. It's very difficult to get a brush down in there. So when I went in strictly with a brush and went down in there, you saw 
it picked up an uneven amount of product. The problem with the product is it's so moussey that if you're not getting an equal amount on your brush, it will not apply e evenly on the face. For example, a liquid blush, okay, so like this one from By Terry, which I absolutely love, or this one from Rare Beauty, which I absolutely love. When I put it on the back of my hand and I go down in with a brush, it's liquid enough to the point where the brush picks it up evenly and it and it goes onto the br bristles of the brush evenly. You don't have these like globs of product that's sitting on there and if you do, it blends out evenly on the skin. With this, because it's a it's a very moussey texture, if you if you pick up any type of glob on the brush and you go to put it on, it will apply too much in that area and then it's then it looks uneven. It doesn't apply very evenly. So I'm just not a big fan of these, you guys. I'm not. Now, you know, yes, it tells you to use a your fingertips. The problem is they don't make it easily accessible for the fingertips. I wish that they would have made it in this type of a form, like this, or smaller, where you could take your finger and go down in there and apply it, like they're suggesting you to do. It's very difficult to stick your finger down in there. It's not practical at all. And I just, I'm not a fan of these. I feel like there's a lot of really, really great uh, cream blushes that are out on the market right now and from liquid to cream blushes and I just do not feel like these hit the mark. For example, this is one of my favorite blush palettes. This is the Overlust. These blushes are so soft and they apply so beautifully on the skin. Now, if they could not use this formula in a package like this, the mouth of it needs to be much wider. So they should be like this big so that you can really stick your finger down in there or be able to get an even amount because my brush barely fits in there. For me, I'm just not a fan of these. I just don't recommend them. I think there's a lot of great creamy blushes uh, that are much cheaper than $30. Those are definitely a pass for me. Let's talk um, about the lip. So I've had this formula on, I, I went, when, when I went off camera, I went ahead and reapplied the shade Shag. And I went off camera and I was swatching. So I've been off camera for probably maybe 45 minutes to an hour. This is what's starting to happen. See how this formula is gathering right here and it's turning white, like right along here. I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that, but it's turning right here. You see that line? right in my lip, it's turning white. So here's the thing, when I first applied these, I loved the way that they felt. I felt like they were super comfortable and super soft and just really melted into the lips beautifully. But now that it's doing this stuff right here, uh-uh, you see that? You guys can see that line, right? Mm-mm, I don't like formulas that do that. And mm-mm, mm-mm. I will continue to use this and I will let you guys know right here at the bottom of the screen if it continued to do that, but mm -mm, that's a no-go for me. I like the formula other than that. Um, and it's been an hour and it still looks really pretty. It just gathers weird right here. So that's it, you guys. Those are my thoughts on these two new products from NARS. It's a no-go for me. I was really kind of hopeful about the lip product, but when I started to see that it was doing that, I'm like, um, yeah, no. So anyways, you guys, sand off down below. Let us know, have you guys bought any of these products from NARS? Are you having the exact same experience I am? Or was your experience better? Let us know in the comments down below. Like I've always said, your guys' opinion and input is just as important as anyone else coming up behind a camera and talking about it. So definitely share with us in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye.